Tesco, the UK's number one biggest and most popular supermarket in the country. Opening its doors in 1929 with its first shop, this massive franchise now has over 4,500 stores across the UK, bringing in over £57 million a year. Over the next 24 hours, this strange bloke in his van... <laughs> yep, that's me. ...is going to be stealth van camping in this 300 space car park at Tesco Superstore right next to Gatwick Airport. Security is on high alert with the infamous trolley man doing his rounds and there's a strange bloke in the car park taking pictures of vehicles. Let's see if I can actually get away with this. This is it. We're back, baby. Stealth van camping. Let's do this. First things first, try not to reverse into any little kids. Why would you bloody park there? I can't bloody see. I think I've got a flat tire. Please no. What is going on? I bet that's what it was that was making the noise. Dear, dear, dear. Ah, oh, where is this bus going? He's not even bloody indicating. Left, right, who bloody knows? Where well, you can't go straight on. Honestly, people in this country, in my own country of England, we are just such bad drivers. Indicate. Please. Hasta la wego. Oh my God almighty. It's absolute chaos. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in long conversation. I bet you any money that bloke is not going right. I bet you. Watch him, watch him. No, he's not. Yeah. What a bastard. Welcome to home for the night. A huge, mahoosive Tesco superstore. It's good to be back. We've got the parking barrier. We've got a shed load of cars absolutely everywhere. I have been here once before in my Ford Galaxy in the good old days, micro car camping, and I didn't have any problems here, but I thought it would be interesting to come back in the van and uh, see if that makes a difference. Home sweet home. When I came here last time, I think I parked over there but this time, I'm literally slap bang in the middle of the main car park. The only thing is, this van obviously isn't as stealthy as uh, my Ford Galaxy. So um, it's pretty obvious that this is a camper van and there's going to be someone inside. So uh, we'll figure all of that out anyway and uh, just go with the flow and see what happens. Time to pop in to the big old Tesco, grab some food to cook tonight. And uh, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll know exactly what I'm gonna cook because uh, it feels like a rite of passage to be cooking this meal when I'm back stealth camping. I've actually decided we're going to be moving spots because I feel far too exposed right here. The objective, I believe, when you are stealth camping in any vehicle is that you want to block off as many routes of visibility for somebody to look inside as you possibly can. If you guys are new to the channel and new to seeing any of my videos before, then let me give you a very quick tour of uh, my van and what I've got inside and what's going on. First, we have the kitchen area, which has a gas oven 
and the gas hob this is where obviously i do all of my cooking all storage units in there more storage down there we have a tap with boiling hot running water have my toothbrush holder spices all stuff like that up there up in here we just have again more storage for pots pans and bowls and everything those lights are just bloody brilliant moving over to the side here we have one storage unit inside here which is also a bench another storage unit inside here which has the toilet inside and of course the fridge which uh, is looking rather empty at the minute also we have a table that pulls out you guys will see that later obviously the bed and uh, more storage up in here for some clothes and stuff recently i decided to add some shelves and just some more storage stuff to uh neaten everything up and just add my own personal touches like the vines the kind of travel frame and also some winnie the pooh picture frames and last but not least we have a tv that swivels around so when i'm in bed i can just chill and watch tv a new addition which i haven't showed you guys yet is actually the sponsor of today's video. This speaker right here is the brand new Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. The speaker has been designed for the outdoor lifestyle for many people like me and for like you guys watching who love the outdoors, who love camping, who love RV life in America, van life in the UK. This thing is gonna be super, super handy to take on the road with you. It's got a super loud 80 watt stereo which gives out crisp and clear audio. It's systematic. <laughs> It's high dramatic. I know it looks quite big because it's probably about a foot and a half long. It is deceivingly light. Honestly, it doesn't weigh much at all. It actually comes with a strap which you can strap around your neck, around your back or whatever it might be. So if you take it on a hike, if you take it camping, it's easy to carry and nice and portable. Without doubt, the biggest perk to this speaker is the fact it is fully waterproof don't worry either about the battery life because you've got over 20 hours of music playtime <laughs> lastly a really cool feature that they've added is the fact that you can actually charge your phone or your device from the actual speaker itself if you guys would like to check out the soundcore motion boom plus then i will leave a link in the description to amazon where you can go and buy yourselves one of these and also a discount code that you can use at checkout to save yourself some money right the temperature is dropping winter van life is very almost here time to uh get on with some dinner and cook up some grub because i am hank marvin oh my god you are joking my table has got a lot stiffer as the weeks and months have gone by i'm assuming because the wood has expanded that definitely wasn't supposed to happen Am I going to be able to pull this out now without a bloody handle? Oh god, you're joking. It's not enough to grip onto. Yeah. Oh no. There's me boasting about how good my van is. And I've just gone and cocked this up. God almighty, it's... There we go. God damn, it's getting hot in here. This knife is too long. So sharp though. Uh, onions. Chicken, chicken. Chicken. The amount of chicken I eat, I'm going to start going baka, baka, baka. I eat a lot of chicken. Lovely man.
sometimes I've got to say there's nothing better than being in a van or being in your own little man cave which is exactly what this is for me cooking up some good old grub and just doing absolutely nothing I'm in a Tesco's bloody car park but inside my van it's just me my own little space that I've built and created and I just love it. Now, at this Tesco car park, there are ANPR cameras. There was a sign earlier that said you get a 70 pound fine, I believe if you stay after three hours or longer than three hours. They also have uh, the yellow gate, which I drove past when I drove in here. I don't believe they closed that, but whether they've changed that, I have no idea. So fingers crossed, touch wood, we don't get a knock in the middle of the night. This place actually closes at 12 o'clock, 12 p.m. So uh, we've got a few hours yet. Also, El Paso, how have you not sponsored me yet? Honestly, you guys know I love this stuff. Ah, oh, that's what I imagine heaven to smell like. Bloody delicious. I'd like to all let you know that I finally think I've learned how to wrap a wrap. Something like, ha, 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 but, uh, was it like that? Something like that. Oh, I don't know. I just make my own little parcels. Mm. God damn. Oh, God damn, that's good shit. Jesus. Got him. Got him. Just uh, a bloke doing donuts in the car park. Tell you what, it is all very, very quiet out here. And uh, I can definitely sense a storm is brewing. The wind is picking up. And I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some rain tonight. I'm quite glad I moved from the spot from earlier, just cause much more hidden away, out of view, out of mind. If people are wondering what the van looks like with all of the lights on, Everything is on inside currently, and you can't see any light whatsoever. Even at the front, apart from just down there at the bottom. These blinds are bloody awesome, although they do make it quite obvious that somebody's sleeping inside, whereas the actual curtains, you wouldn't really be able to tell at all. I've decided to turn off the, uh, the, the solar paneled LED lights on the outside just because you don't obviously want that going off if leaves or something are brushing past because, yeah, just don't want to make myself too obvious, really.
Tell you what, I would say that was a very, very successful stealth camp and uh, it doesn't get much better than walking into the supermarket, buying some quick breakfast and boiling up some water on a jet boil. Absolutely love it. I slept beautifully, probably the best I've slept in a long time inside the van. Sometimes I actually quite like coming to weird random places just like a massive car park because you feel safe, secure and uh, it's not as scary as staying in a forest where it's pitch black and there's wind and trees and everything rustling around. I will keep you guys updated on the community tab on my YouTube channel where I will let you know did I get a fine or not because um, usually it'll obviously take a couple of weeks to arrive in the post so I'll keep you updated on that but one thing I've got to say that helped is obviously this hoodie. You can't go stealth camping or van camping without a stealth mode hoodie. If you want to pick one of these up and you want to help support me and the YouTube channel, then I will leave a link in the description to my merchandise website where you can pick yourself up one of these. I'm looking forward, I can't believe I'm saying this, to those colder temperatures to arrive because then everything in the van just feels a little bit more cozy. Right, it is time to vacate the crime scene. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments where you would like to see me go next. Make sure to give the video a like as it really helps the YouTube algorithm and push this video to more people. And if you're not subscribed and you wanna see some more weird, wacky and wonderful van adventures, then hit that subscribe button. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. A massive, massive thank you to Patreon supporters. And as always, I will catch you in the next video.